What's up, Duel fans? Zach from Team Brock here, bringing you guys a ban list prediction video. I don't know if anybody's actually gonna see this or if you care about our opinions, but everyone's doing these, so I figured we would try to do one too. It's the big elephant in the room right now because they said no sooner than July, and it's July, so everyone and their mothers is talking about this. So I figured I'd give my opinion. Uh, so I guess we'll just start with uh, the decks to hit. First being Sky Striker, the first of four. And for Sky Striker, you know, they're in a tough place because they've been around for way too long. Konami seems to like them because they haven't completely slaughtered it. You know, just Hornet drones and Kagari. And I'm, a, I'm the kind of person who I wouldn't want to just kill the deck either. Even at this point, I still think they're a bit too strong considering how long they've been around. So I would probably you know, maybe engage Widow or the multi-roll to one, maybe two of them to one. I wouldn't ban anything. I know people are yelling for multi-roll to get banned. I personally wouldn't want to ban anything in the deck just because you don't want to kill it. But maybe she's a coup to one, you know, maybe Hayate to one. There's a lot you could do to the deck. But me personally, I would love to see engage go to one just because of the fact that it's not once per turn, you can keep recycling it. And even if it does go to one, you can still Kagari it. So you can activate two in one turn, even the, even if it's at one. And it also eliminates the Saki draw engage off the engage. So I think engage to one is plenty, won't kill the deck. So moving on, we got Orcist. Uh, the Orcist combo, I'm just not really a big fan of. It's just really degenerate. If you don't have the Lancia, you can't really stop it. I would probably say uh, I'd prefer Mermaid Band. I know everyone's talking about different hits, maybe Dingrisu, but the only way to really hit Dingrisu is to ban, ban him because one doesn't do anything. And banning Dingrisu is just like, it's just overkill. Deck will be unplayable. I think people could find a way to play without Mermaid. So I would say that's pretty much all I can think of. Galatea to one would hurt, but it wouldn't do a ton. I would say just straight up ban Mermaid and see what we can do with Orcist. And then uh, for the next combo, we've got Danger Thunder. Dangers it can be it's a whole another whole other discussion on its own. Dangers are pretty pretty degenerate in general. Maybe like Nessie Jackalope. Maybe do like what they did with, they did with the the Dragon Rulers. Maybe each of the good ones to one. Jackalope, Sushinoko, and Nessie all to one would be good. I would love to see that. You can still. You could still probably play Dangers if you're willing to play more of the bad ones, like Mothman, Bigfoot, whatever. But that would be a really good hit to Danger Thunder. Also, as far as the Thunder Engine goes, I want to say maybe Colossus to one. But, like, Colossus to one, all it does is sort of give them a choice on it if they, whether, if they want to make the rank 8 or end on a Colossus. Which, honestly, like, puts the deck at, like, a really, like more fair kind of power level so that's a hit you could do with, without hitting the guard dragon combo i know a lot of people want the guard dragon combo hit but sorry you're just not getting hit because of the reprints so i think if you hit colossus to one you actually really you know control the deck because they can either end on a 38 or zombie stein or colossus not both which i think is a good way to keep the deck alive but not kill it so you know, there's many routes you can take with Thunder Dragon, Danger, but I think, like, the main Dangers to one, and then Colossus to one is, like, perfectly fine. And then Salamangrate, uh, there's a lot of ways you could hit Salamangrate. I think the deck is definitely going to get hit just because of all the showings at the WCQs. It didn't top, uh, or it didn't win, excuse me, it didn't win North America and, like, one more. So, it's been doing very well. So... As far as what should be hit, you can go a lot of different routes. You can go Circle to one, Gazelle to one. Uh, I've heard Sunlight Wolf to one, and the argument with that is like it has a secondary effect. So if you put it to one, then it won't be able to use it. But Konami's done that before. You know, uh, Zodiac Rat Pierre, that had a second effect to special summon like more rats from the deck, and it went to two and then one. So Konami like clearly doesn't care about you know, effects going off or whatever. So I personally would not like to see Sun Life Wolf hit. I would prefer, 
you know, what the OCG did, Gazelda won, something like that. But I think the deck is done for, honestly. I'll, I'll love to keep playing it, but we'll see what they do. And then, so that's the main four. Uh, as far as generic cards go, I've been hearing some talk about Super Poly. I think Super Poly is fine where it is. I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't ban it, put it to one or put it to three. I think that's a really good card to have semi It's It's not at one, so it's not sacky. But so you have to kind of consider that your opponent could have it. And if you play into it or, you know, you leave your board with like Link Monsters and Salaman Great Monsters, like, you know, you're kind of playing into it. So I think Super Poly is fine. As far as other cards go, I mean, I probably should have included this with uh, Orcist, but the Rusty Bardish I've been hearing should get banned. I would be fine with that. But like I said, you don't really want to kill decks anymore. I don't know if Orcus is even playable. I mean, you could still, if you didn't ban the Mermaid and you banned the Rusty, you could still do plays. But I don't think I would ban the Rusty. It's just, it's just one of those things where you want to keep the deck alive. But as far as like more broken cards go, Saryuja, I don't think Saryuja is going to get hit because of the, the reprints and whatnot. But I think Saryuja is definitely on the hot seat. Like I could see Saryuja getting banned or hit in some way, shape, or form someday. We'll see if it happens. You never know with Konami, but... And then... Hand Traps, uh, another thing that's been talked about a lot. I think as this format's going on, we don't have Maxi, like the OCG, you know, we need cards to stop the decks. You know, you don't wanna just, you don't, Konami doesn't want a game where you just lose if you go second. So I think Pretty much all the hand traps are safe, including Lancia. So, if I'm forgetting anything, please like comment. You know, if you're seeing this, one of our you know 80 or whatever subscribers, you know, feel free to communicate with us. What do you guys think on the ban list? What do you think's getting hit? Did I miss something? So yeah, let me know. See you guys.